Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add a plan from Planner to a Microsoft Team. Uh, now, obviously, uh, if um, you are managing tasks in uh, a Planner, you can obviously uh, utilize the, um, you know, the, the, the Planner tool itself and manage tasks here. But let's face it, we all live in Teams these days, so it totally makes sense. Uh, to access the same plans in Microsoft Teams. So what I would like to show you is uh, how to add a plan from Planner to a Microsoft Team. So I have a team over here. It happens to be an HR team, a few channels that I have that exist. And uh, what I would like to do is add a plan. So you obviously need to add a plan within a given channel. So uh, that's what I have right here. Let's add it to general channel. We might as well. I hit the plus sign. And essentially, I happen to have, because I used this recently, um, I happen to have the planner over here. But if you don't have it, if you don't see it in here, just type in planner. And uh, the app will come up. And when you click on it, you have two choices. All right. So um, it uh, offers uh, to you to create a brand new plan. And you can do so. And uh, very important. So. Uh, it will actually create a plan in Planner for that particular group. So it will create a, a new plan uh, under the same Microsoft 365 group, under the same uh, under the same team that we have. Uh, or, you know, so obviously I can create a brand new one, or you can use an existing one. If you already have uh, a plan in here, uh, you see I have onboarding, which is actually part of the HR, uh, you know, HR team already. I want to add it. To my uh, to my team uh, from Planner. So here we go. You just click the drop down, and essentially it pulls all the existing plans that already exist in Planner. And here we go. Um, that's an existing one. And uh, we might as well just post this announcement to uh, to our team. Here we go. And look at this. Here's my plan. I don't happen to have any buckets or tasks set up, but uh, obviously you can. Uh, uh, you can obviously, you know, uh, fill in the blanks from here. All right. And obviously, right, as you add uh, this plan, whether you create a new one or it's an existing one, it will always appear over here, uh, right, under, under your plans uh, within your Planner Hub. Uh, so whether you prefer to use the uh, this option, you know, the Planner option or the Microsoft Teams option, uh, you can uh, you can pretty much it's really your personal preference. I mean, for the most part, you have pretty much almost identical you know functionality in to, in terms of basic um, in terms of the basic uh, you know tasks and and all that stuff. Uh, but obviously, for some maybe uh, uh, particular settings, uh, for uh, you know if you want to change the behavior of planner, etc., you obviously uh, will need to navigate over here. To change that. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.